Welcome aboard, TV fans. I'm your host and captain, Leanne Aguilera, and this is Shipworthy, the only show devoted to celebrating the most swoon-worthy couples on TV. And today, it's time to sail into the dark and dangerous world of shadow hunters because we're talking all about the powerhouse pairing of Harry Shum Jr. and Matthew Daddario as Magnus Bane and Alec Lightwood, aka Malik. To us. Plus, I've got an exclusive, never before seen interview with Harry Shum Jr. spilling behind the scenes Malik secrets. So that's gonna be the tease. So, what happens when a talented shadow hunter falls in love with a prominent downworlder? magical things happen, that's what. So let's take a look back at how this romance first sailed onto our screens in Anchors Away. Now Magnus may be a high-powered and immortal warlock with hundreds of years of life experience, but when he first caught sight of Cupid, I mean Alec, everything changed with just three little words. Who are you? Later in episode four, the two fellas officially met and I squealed with delight when Alec became adorably tongue-tied. We uh, should really probably get... Right, we should join the party. And then, I don't know about you, but I lost my breath and my heart was beating just a little bit faster during Magnus's epic monologue to Alec about why they should embrace their forbidden romance. I know you feel what I feel, Alec. And then it happened. Just as Alec was about to bind himself forever to Lydia, Magnus showed up and the rest, well, the rest was TV history. Talk about a truly mesmerizing first kiss. And with that milestone moment, Malik became official as in officially one of the hottest couples on TV, which leads us into Naughty or Nice. Now in this segment, I've handpicked some of my all-time favorite Malik scenes and divided them into two categories. Nice, which is filled with all those subtly sweet moments that make us all blush, and Naughty, which shines the spotlight on those truly steamy Shadowhunters scenes. First up, let's focus on some nice Malik moments. While Magnus was open about his attraction to Alec from the very beginning, some of the sweetest early moments came as the shadow hunter adorably stumbled over his feelings for the high warlock. Uh, listen, Magnus, I, I wish I, I, I could, I just, I don't know what I understand. And my shipper heart swooned when Magnus did everything he could think of to bring Alec back to life, including trying out True Love's Kiss. Of course, no nice list would be complete without the couple's first I love yous, which came after Alec feared the worst when the pair were separated on a mission. I love you. I love you too. And as for those naughty moments, my favorite naughty scene between these two will always be their first time together. When they were fumbling through the doorway and clearly just enjoying the moment, my feels were overwhelmed. That was graceful. Shadow on it. And then of course in the morning after scene with their pillow talk cuddles, it was all just too cute. But are you ready for even more Malik goodness? Yeah, me too. So take a look at what Harry Shum Jr. had to tell me about why Magnus and Alec make such a magical couple. Fans have such a passionate reaction to Malik. Why do you think that this is a couple that's so good together? Well, I mean, you have a magical warlock, and then you have, like, a demon hunter come together, and you get to see a softer side of them. They're not just killing demons or saving the world. They are in a relationship that is very meaningful, and it's in the beginning, and they're, they're learning so much from each other. So I think it, it's one of the beginning stages that a lot of people love watching. The fans have loved the fact that Alec kind of awoken something in Magnus. For almost a century, I've closed myself off to feeling anything for anyone. You've unlocked something in me. What has that meant for you to be able to bring that character and this couple to life? Well, I think anyone who's, uh, who's ever been in a relationship or maybe haven't felt that thing, you know, that thing that you fight to the death for. And I think when you see this couple, especially with Magnus, he unlocks something in him and he wants to be able to almost, he would die for him in, in a way. So, I mean, when you see that, whether it be, what do you want to call it, soulmate, or you want to call them a couple that you, you yourself would die for, for them to still be together. I think the fans uh, really react to that. You're going to make it back. You hear me? 
Why wouldn't I? Look what I have waiting for me. Overall, there are many, many reasons why I think that Malik are amazing together. Magnus had closed off his heart for more than a century, but then Alec taught him to love again. And Magnus also helped Alec through his journey of self-discovery and acceptance, while becoming a more happy and confident person. They are empathetic, they're honest, they're loyal to each other, and overall their love is pure. Plus, it's pretty rare to see a same-sex couple on TV that is so strongly celebrated and treated with so much respect both on and off screen. So there, I love you Malik. There you have it guys, that does it for this first Malik episode of Shipworthy, but don't you worry, as I continue to interview Harry Shum Jr. and Matthew Daddario, we'll be back with follow-up episodes about Malik and where their relationship will be sailing to next, so get excited. Now if you had fun sailing with me, please give this video a like and then hit subscribe to ET's YouTube channel. Then drop anchor in the comments below and tell me why you love Malik as a couple. Oh, and what were your all-time favorite naughty or nice moments? Tell me in the comments right now. Plus, if you strongly ship any other TV couples, I wanna know about it. Comment or tweet me with your nominations of who you think I should feature on future episodes of Shipworthy and why you love them. Thanks for watching Shipworthy, and until next time, bon voyage, TV lovers.